So the Android P beta is finally available and you can download it in your Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, plus from third party manufacturers. Now, of course, you guys are wondering what is special about Android P? Well, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. So we've got, we've got Android P updated on our Pixel 2 XL. And the first thing you notice is the new home button. And there's no back, there is no multitask. This is the new gesture button layout. Now to access this, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings. I'll show you the long way. Go to system, go to gestures, and go to swipe up on home button. And then you can actually unselect and have your regular button set up or select that. Now what this allows me to do is one of couple of cool new things with the gestures. The gestures are similar to what uh, Apple has with the iPhone 10. And what we can do is we can swipe up right now and that takes us straight to multitask. And you can go ahead and access any of the applications and you can see your most recent apps at the bottom. The other thing you can do is also from here, swipe up into your app tray. So you've got quick access to the app tray with two steps, basically two swipes up or two swipes down, takes us back to multitask and takes us back to the application. Now, this here is adaptive battery. Now, this is something we can't show fully, but it is available. What it means is that it helps extend your battery life. It limits battery for infrequently used application. It optimizes the rest. So what you have here is a process that should give me better battery life as I use the device. So I actually will come back and do a video, which I should be doing like my six month video on the Pixel 2 XL. So I'll be stressing and talking about this a little bit more. Um, and this is of course within your battery um, app uh, location. So you can go in and check adaptive battery. Again, I can go ahead and tap the whole button there now what you guys saw is there is a back button so in case in certain applications you need a back button you will be able to use that so I can go back if I want to but I can tap I can always swipe up and have that access again this is multitask now some of you are wondering where is split screen uh, you have that by hitting the gear icon or the icon of an application and that will give you your split screen as well as app info. So you do have that there. Now, while you're on the home screen, you can swipe or slide across different applications to access them and stop, and that will stop you at an application right there. You can swipe either way, left or right, to go to different applications that you choose. So that is something you can actually do with this. Now, if we tap and go back home, uh, they talked about, of course, um, the shush mode, volume access and things like that. So now when you hit the volume button, you do have this quick access, your volume keys are now on the side and you can see how you can quickly reduce your media volume, which is one of the most important things. Now we also do have the shush mode, which basically turns off, it's, it's your do not disturb mode, but it turns off everything, including your visual notifications. So once you drop your phone on a table, you're good, it actually turns that off and no notifications come in unless the ones you want to or your exceptions that you set, which is nice. Now, as you can see, the display has been doing some flickering in an interesting way of brightness. So the adaptive brightness allows us to automatically adjust for the environment. So right now it's trying to adjust to what my environment is as I'm shooting and recording. And this also will help with your battery life and will help with you not touching uh, your uh, your brightness meter while you're using the device. So that's, um, that's a really nice and good thing here with this device overall. Now, again, you know, Android P comes with a lot of features. Uh, it's pretty smooth. Uh, there's the new Android P dashboard, which will be coming on later this year. We have to definitely check out, which would be nice to see how that functions. But one of the main things is the gesture displays. Now that dashboard is to help you manage your um, your time so you can do, do less on the device and do just do more in life So basically it shows you how much time you you're spending on the applications and what you you're doing So it's kind of like a timeline of all your events on your device to see how productive you are, which is nice So things like YouTube will tell you hey man, you're spending too much time on YouTube You might want to do something else. So that's actually pretty cool um, That is actually there now if we go into the settings menu you see the settings menu also icon wise has changed it's, it's more color Full, a white background. Uh, we do no longer have the swipe from the right. We can swipe up or down. Um, and if we go into our system here, you can see about device. You know, this is what we have here. Um, and then if we go advanced, you can see what we are running Android P. And boom, 
that is Android P for you. That's what it looks like. So um, just for you guys to take a look. Again, we can swipe up from here and go to different applications. I do like that quick gesture, gesture access of going back and forth. Um, and although the multitask button, I kind of miss it a little bit, but again, I've only used it for about an hour or so. So you get that idea. So there's a lot to see with Android P and a lot of those features will be added as it moves forward. I really like dashboard. I want to see how that affects my use of a smartphone from a day-to-day -day basis. And I think it's going to help a lot of people as a whole. But another cool feature that wasn't really mentioned fully and doesn't have anything to do with software is the fact that Qualcomm and Google have partnered together to ensure that you get your Android updates faster. Yes, because of the partnership with Qualcomm and Google, uh, any device that's running an 845 processor, a 660 and a 636 uh, Snapdragon processor will have that ability uh, down the line. So you'd be able to get updates 30% faster. And also that has allowed for, us, for those devices to get Android P betas today. And I'm talking about companies like Oppo, Vivo, Sony, Xiaomi, Nokia, Essential, and of course, OnePlus. So uh, that's pretty cool. And the fact that I may be getting my Android updates faster now, that's a cool thing and a nice cool feature with Android P moving forward. So if you have any questions, or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.